right, welcome back. Uh, or if you're new here, thanks for clicking on the video. So um, I just recorded a video about the moving beyond the page for ages four to five. And after doing some watching of their videos and reading on their website, I decided to give the five to seven package um, a look. So I'll go ahead and start unboxing that. It just arrived today. And then uh, we can kind of chat at the end about what my plans are for it. So I ordered the first concept, which is environment and the math uh, curriculum and literature. So I think this first bundle is the math uh, books. And so this must be one the first environment book. Okay, so that's all the books. And then we have the boiling point thermometer. Move the box. So this has got the environment student activity book and Two of these because my plan is to do this with my nearly five-year-old and my seven-year-old so I'm probably gonna have to get another binder it looks like um, and then this is the parent manual which you've probably seen in every other unboxing video of this curriculum and then what else do we have in here Oh, and then we have the math. So, my seven-year-old has his own math, and I think that this would be uh, below his level. So, um, I only got, I got the full year math package for my five-year-old, which may go in, probably will go into next year. So this is the student activity book, parent manual, Other student activity book, wait. Oh, I see, so there's a semester one and a semester two math book. And there's a semester one, semester two parent math book. So, um, if you have watched uh, videos about moving beyond the page or if you've done research on them, you know that it is a very expensive curriculum. And um, one of the things I did several years ago was went out and purchased several different levels 
and all of these books came and it was completely overwhelming and I ended up just abandoning it before I even tried because it was just so overwhelming. So what I'm trying to do now is to do one thing at a time. So I started with the ages four to five and it worked out really well for my four, almost five year old. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the math with her because I think she's going to like that. And I did not order the math manipulatives because I feel like I already have every single math manipulative that exists. Um, and it's really hard to store those things. And actually I'm thinking about doing a math cart. So maybe if I do that, I'll have to record it or something. Um, but also I noticed that my seven year old really likes highly structured um, curriculum, not um, worksheets per se, but just, you know, orderly, every day expect it. And um, there are things in here that might be too advanced for my four to five year old, but will be much easier for my seven year old who's in second grade. Um, so after I watched these videos, I decided I was going to give that a try. Um, and I have been trying to get all of my literature from the library, but it's been very laborious to do that for um, five kids. So that's why I went ahead and got um, the literature. And I figure once I'm done using it, I can either um, pass it on to someone else or I can sell it in my eBay store. Um, and the revenue from my eBay store is how I paid for this um, section. And so I think my kids are going to like it and I'm really excited about it and I am planning to come back and share with you guys um, after some weeks or months have passed um, what my kids have done and so then you can get a better sense. So that's what I had said in my other videos like you've seen all of these unboxing videos but you don't really get a sense of what you're actually doing, right? You just see all of these worksheets. Um, and I've heard extensively that moving beyond the page has lots of projects and we learned that in the other level that we did. So my plan is to really lean into the project aspect and, you, you know, use the worksheets as an additional tool, but not the only tool. And I don't know what my four to five year old's going to be able to do in terms of writing. I'm not going to be a slave to the worksheets, um, but I do really think she's going to like the literature because she really likes picture books. And uh, Jim Arnosky was highly recommended by uh, Simply Charlotte Mason for um, nature-based books. So I was really excited to see that that's included. And we have done some math map things with my seven-year-old, so that should be familiar for him. And there's some weather things. And this I thought was really interesting because I think it has community members in it. And that's one of, I think, one of the units um, later in the year for this package that I'm really looking forward to. So that'll be fun. And then telling time, my seven-year-old already knows this stuff. So like I said, this is the, but I think he'll like the picture book. So maybe he'll sit for that with his sister and then go off and do his own thing. And I'm pretty sure there's an activity that goes with this involving dots. So I'll have to check the parent guide for the supplies and things for that. And I think it will be fun. So um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, I'll keep you posted about uh, how this works for us. And also, if I do end up getting around to doing um, organizing a math cart, I'll let you know. I'm pretty excited about that. So hopefully I'll have time to get it done. Um, thanks for watching and hope to see you another time.